Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. So friends, in this video, we'll see how we can display the list and the document library from other SharePoint site to different site. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I will randomly open one site and this is the site which I will pick it up. This site name is birthday. Let me open the site in the new tab and uh, let me open one more site for this video demonstration. All right. So now we have this site name birthday and uh, if I'll click on the gear icon, let me go to the site contents. So on this site birthday, I have one document library. Let me open this. So here you can see there are a few documents which are listed over here. And uh, if I'll go a step back, there is one list here with the name of check offline. So if I will open this list, uh, you, this is basically the list of few users. These are our users and the this is the status and this is the date column. So friends, basically this uh, document library and list resides inside the, you know, the site birthday. And if I now open this site document library, if I'll go to site contents, here you can see it has its own document library and another list. So if I'll open this document library, there must be a, you know, any randomly any I have entered any documents over here. So friend, let's see basically how we can show this uh, list as well as document library on this side. Okay, so friends now uh, basically we will show the document library and the list of you know the site birthday on document library using the embedded web part. So for that we will you know go to the home page of the site document library. After clicking on edit of this page, we'll click on this plus and here we will type embedded. Okay. This is our web part. We'll select this. It will give you the option of add embedded code. And once you will click on edit the, this web part, so it's written over here, display content from a secure website by pasting the web address of the site below. Here we need to enter the, you know, the address. So we'll go over here, site contents. Now, I want to first show, you know, this list on this site. So let me open this, you know, the list. We just need to copy the, you know, the address of this list. I will simply paste it over here. So after waiting for, you know, two to three seconds, you can see the list is coming up in this site document library. You just simply need to click on republish, republish the page and the users. Now those who have the, you know, the permission to this document library, once they will, you know, visit the site, they can see the list. And they can, you know, basically add new, you know, item to this list. Similarly, if you can, if you will click on edit, again, you can just add the embedded web part. If I'll go a step back, there is this document library on the web part, but, uh, you know, lot of users make the mistake. Like they simply just copy, you know, up to the documents. If you will add up to the documents, it will not work. Let me show you, you can see. Nothing will come up over here. It will keep on scrolling and scrolling and you will get an error message. This website doesn't support embedded using just the address. So try pasting the embedded code instead. So you basically you need to, you know, copy the entire address of this document library. And once you will enter the entire, you know, the web address, you will see the document library now appears. And the way we did in the list, you just simply need to republish the page. And here you can see this is our list and this is our document library. So guys, that's how you can, you know, just uh, uh, display the list and document library of different site using the embedded web part. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.